So for the first outfit, what I'm wearing here is a um, chocolate chick apparel t-shirt and a uh, the jeans I am wearing. So let me tell you the brand of the jeans. Oh yeah, they're my Levi's. They are my Levi's jeans. And I got the 715 boot cut. Um, I kind of like the boot cut. Uh, it, it serves a purpose. I'm not into the skinny jean. Um, I think doing a, to me, and this is just me personally, once I became a certain weight, I just didn't like the way skinny jeans look. But I love this boot cut fit of these Levi jeans. So they are really nice. And... Um, I did, if you watch my new in um, video, which I will link for you to go to next if you haven't watched it, so it'll come up after this video. I have my Chocolate Chick Apparel t-shirt and um, I showed the Instagram and or you can go on Instagram, Chocolate Chick Apparel. Um, and I like that t-shirt. It fits very well. I like the way it looks. Um, and the earrings I wore were these. So now each one of these, I'm going to show you everything, but I haven't worn these in a while. And I said, dang, I ain't wore them earrings in a while. And it looks good. Oh, I wish this light was not so bright. Maybe if I come closer, it's not as bright. I don't know. Maybe that would help. But I really cannot stand how bright this light is. Um, and the bag I wore, maybe if I step back, and the bag I wore, look at this cute little, or is this Shein bag, cute, I, you know it was very, very inexpensive, but I thought it was so cute, and you know the little bag trend, I kind of like a little bag look every now and then, so you can put it, you can do it like that as well, and I like to wear a crossbody. All you need is your ID, your especially if you're going with somebody and you're not driving, and all you need is your ID, little thing of hand, because you should have a little teeny hand sanitizer as well, and you can still fit your card in here. So cute. So you don't have to spend a thousand dollars on a little bag. I think I, I don't know. It, it, whatever it was, very, very cheap. So, go on Shein and just put in little gold bag and that's going to come up. I thought that was so cute. And each one of these, I'm wearing a perfume of the day. So, for this one, um, I paired it with my I have on my um, and the glasses I'm wearing are some shades let me show them to you because these shades I really haven't shown. These, you know I get all my shades, most of them, not all of them. I got designer shades as well, but these I got from Amazon and I'll link it below. Are these not cute? Look at that. So cute. I like the squareness of it and I thought that these were very nice. And the shoes I am wearing is my, um, let me see, I think these are my Balenciaga. No, these are the Michael Kors uh, Gold Link heel that I thrifted. I think I paid like $20 for these. No more than 25 I think. Nice outfit. Don't forget, let me know your favorite. Okay, so the next one is I wore this green linen um, button down from H&M and I paired it with a t-shirt that has a lot of graphics on it. It has the Sprite, the Coca-Cola, you know, the old school drinks and the jeans I have on are my express jeans with all the distress in it i like these with heels but i also like these with flats and you see i worked with a pair of flats and this bracelet 
I've had this bracelet for four years. I think I've worn it twice. Nothing's wrong with it. I just didn't gravitate to it, but it's so pretty. And I think I'm going to wear it out the rest of the summer. And I wanted to even put more color and graffiti into it. So I wore my kitten heel Balenciaga pointed um, flats. I, well, these are not, well, they're kitten heel, but um, I forget the name of them. But I just love, look at the graffiti everywhere. I bring these out every now and then, and I will still wear them. Whether people like kitten heels or not, I like that outfit. And the perfume I match with that is my Gucci bamboo perfume. All right, so next, what I wanna highlight is these jeans in this outfit right here. Look at that jacket. Well, let me do the jacket since I'm just twirling around in it. Look, look at this. I got this jacket. I thrifted this jacket at half price. It's called a Tyree New York. But look at the colors in this jacket. This jacket can go with so much. And you can put it with just a solid color and bring out so many different outfits in this one jacket and I really like it. I think I thrifted that jacket for like, it was half price day, so I'm quite sure I didn't pay no more than like four or five dollars, no more. And the jeans I wore with it, I believe these are my, are these my mother jeans? Cause I got a pair of mother jeans too that remind me of this. Oh, actually these are, I think these are men's jeans. Yeah, these are men's jeans I got from H&M. I liked it because A, I like the, the look of it on me. And I just like the way men's pants look on women. So, and I like the, how it's just distressed right there at the knee and just a little bit at the bottom in places. And I thought these jeans were so cute. And I like the way I look in them. I really do. And I like the fit. And speaking of thrifted, look at this purse I got that I thrifted and wore with that outfit. And I believe this is a, let me see if I see the name in it. Because... I just like the color of it. It's uh, I can't wait to wear it in the fall. It's a Nine West bag. And I know this is a, like, a years ago bag. This is nothing new. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but this is something that now you can, the silhouette of it is something you wear now. That's why I say before you go and you want to spend a lot of money on trends or stuff that's even though I picked this out because I liked it but it is also like the trend of the bags today the handle the silhouette of it look at the stitching in it this is well crafted and I like it and cheap sure did get it from the thrift store Let's see what perfume I wore with that. With that, I wore my Miss Dior Absolute Blooming. That is what I would wear with that outfit. Oh, we moving right along, child. What y'all think of my headband? I like this headband. If you're interested, I will link it below. And I'm wearing it with these earrings that I got from Dillard's. They are clip-ons and they are not heavy and they feel so good. And my nails as well. You know, I do the press on now. I don't buy any nails. I don't buy to get my nails. You know, I don't pay. I don't buy. It's been a long day of filming. I don't pay 
to get my nails done anymore. I love the freedom of the press-ons. When I'm ready to take it off, it doesn't last long, it does its purpose, and I can move on and be free, not worrying about nails. I, I don't know, it's a freedom in, in it. But anyway, as you know, I was an avid, if you followed me, I was, or know me, I was an avid going to get my nails done. Mm -mm. Okay, and the next outfit is, oh, I really like this outfit, guys. I, I just think, you know, it's sometimes that you think you just look cute. And I like the way it look. Um, the top is a bodysuit from Zara. And the jeans, let me do the accessories. First of all, look at these shoes. Of course, they remind you of the, is it Imadi? Well, you know whose shoes I'm talking about. You've seen it. Well, I got these from um, Fashion Nova. And it had the wrap that ran around the leg. Well, I didn't want the wrap part because it looked like this, like the, sh the uh, designer shoe. I didn't like that. It made the shoe look cheap because that wrap around the leg was cheap looking. So I took that off and it had a pearl thing at the, in the uh, twirl part of it. And I just glued the pearls on the side of the shoe. And this shoe is so pretty. So pretty. My little... D, do what you said. DIY project was those shoes. Snip, snip, glue. Sure did. Um, I thought that I would show you the bracelet that I had on. This is something else that I got from Dillard's about four or five years ago, and it is so cute. And it 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 snaps on because it is a um magnetic and look at there so pretty and it looked real pretty with my nails and to elevate it and make it look even prettier i i wore my chanel inspired brooch nope it is not chanel i got it off etsy and i cannot remember who it was i tried to look it up because i've had it for a couple of years but yes and it hasn't tarnished or nothing. I got it off Etsy. I bring that out when I want to do a little elegance, but not the price. Because <laughs> you know I will spend money if necessary because I am in the on the lookout for um, a pre-love pair of Chanel earrings. I'm not ready to pay that price, but I'm following someone and I'm waiting for them to hit that button to the price that I'm willing to pay. But I do want a pair of vintage Chanel when the earrings just was made better. I want a pair of those, but I wore it also with these that I got from Dillard's. I just love that elegant look of these earrings. They just look so pretty. And they look really pretty with that outfit. And the jeans I'm wearing, um, um, let me see. Yeah, these are my mother jeans. I knew I had some jeans, my mother jeans, and they ain't they not cheap now. Um, but I I just love the look of them. This is another pair of jeans that fit. It's the fit for me. Okay, it is the quality of the jean and the fit. And these have no stretch do you understand me they are 100 percent cotton and if you're gonna get 100 percent cotton i if you unless you like that girl who's really slim and can put everything on that's the you know the size they can wear you got any hips booty anything a fat stomach like me you need to go up in size and you have to continuously wear them which I haven't been doing, but I will this winter because it will mold to your body, but you got to wear them and stretch them out. And I haven't done that. 
So, yeah. Woo! They were tight. All right. And let's see. So, the the scent that I wore with that was my new Dolce & Gabbana um, light blue intense. And that is the scent that I feel I would wear with that elegant, sweet, pretty. It, the, it dries down nice. The floor is so pretty and it's the fruitiness of it is so nice and I see myself wearing that and going out um, on a nice little brunch or lunch date um, and just looking really fabulous so I really like that outfit we almost finished so the last outfit is my um, I have on another H&M linen shirt and I love them oversized so I can put them any way that I want to wear them. I have an H&M cropped top with it because I didn't, I wanted it to be, I want the shirt to be open, but not revealing, you know, belly and all that. And I wore it with, guys, I am in love with these platforms. These are my uh red bottom platform jean material and it's got these pretty um little silver discs going up the shoe and i, I like the cork I, look i don't it, these i just love these platform heels and i was glad when i won the bid for these they are absolutely brand new like they I, i'm gonna get the red bottom um i'm gonna get this with the put the the thing you the film or whatever it is you put over it to save it uh, but they never wore these one thing you can know about red bottoms when you start walking outside on them oh you know they've been worn and the inside is clear and there's the Louis Vuitton right there I got the them authenticated packaging they are so nice the only thing I did not like is wherever they bought it from they put the sticker on the bottom of this one so i'm gonna spray it good and get the sticker off and then get it get that film put up there but these honey yes i really like those and it, the the sole the uh interior is leather that part that says louis vuitton on the inside is leather and i wore with these jeans that i got from express and at first i didn't like these jeans i didn't like the way they look they are um i don't know what the fit is called um but they just fit differently but the more i wear them the more i like the fit now and the bracelet i wore was this bracelet that i've had for eight years that I got from Dillard's, eight years. And it's got suede strings and gold plated in the middle. That's what I love about things that last a long time and you know it's good quality. I got my um, Louis Vuitton bag um, and I'll put the name of the bag here. I've had this bag for a while. You buy a little bit time bag. I don't. The next one I get will look totally different. I don't. I would never want to. I know people buy different sizes and different looks, but I would not get that pattern because to me, I already got it. And these bags last forever. I've had this bag for almost four. No, about four years. Four, almost five. And it looks brand new. So yeah. That's what I call an investment. And then the scent of the day, as you saw, was my Chanel uh, Mademoiselle Mist. I wanted something light, something airy. And the glasses is my vintage Louis Vuitton glasses that I got. 
secondhand. So those are all my jean looks, guys. Tell me which one you liked the most, which outfit, and do you think if you have that perfume that you would match it with that outfit? And if you match perfumes to your outfit, let me know. So I didn't keep you long, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, um, and follow my home channel. It's new, so it doesn't have a lot of videos up there, but it will be some great videos coming. And that is called Welcome to Grandma's House. As always, don't forget, no matter what stage you're at in your transformation, you're still beautiful. Bye, guys.